Hi, this is Darman. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's Lovely World. And uh, in the last video, we started the uh, IC shop. And here it is. It's looking good. Uh, I do have a correction we're, we're going to go over in just a minute before we get into this uh, finishing off the inside, which is what we're going to do in this video today. Uh, i got a couple of people in the Love Garden I'm going to show you. Uh, let's see. Are the dogs awake today? Dogs look like they're awake today. All right. So uh, let's see. Today we have... Uh, we have Joey G, which Joey has uh, been a commenter on my videos for low these many, many, many months, year, I don't know, whatever, how long it's been. Um, and uh, Joey was the first person who is not in my love garden uh, to tell me that we have to change. The, I put a map on the piano in the uh, in the clock tower instead of a, uh, instead of a piece of paper. <laughs> Sometimes I always grab the wrong one. It's, it's supposed to be paper. I know that. Uh, and Captain, so we're going to fix that in, in just a minute. Captain Kaz, uh, Captain gave me a correction uh, on the um, IC shop itself. We've got to move the shelves over one block. Uh, so thank you very much, Captain, for pointing that out. That is very important. However, before we do anything, uh, we need to expand this love garden by uh, a couple of blocks. Now, you kind of see it's kind of one one half is one way and one is the other uh and this left half what i'm looking at here this is this is how it should be now uh, and these these are the corrections being made i didn't want to fix the whole thing i just wanted to save a little time hello esther she's jumping around over there uh so over here is what we're going to fix uh from from this block over so uh what we're going to do is uh, obviously first we're just going to uh you know to have to take out this uh, lamp post here and uh, take out these uh <laughs> it's okay it's okay Bert it's okay I'm supposed to be doing this he looks a little worried don't you think uh, and take out the stairs out of there they're gonna come out uh, to here uh, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that and you're gonna uh, you're gonna add you're gonna leave this row of grass there because there was this is where the fence was so you're just gonna add a row of oak and then we're gonna just surround that with some dirt and that ends up covering up the path down there but that's okay we're gonna have to just dig out a one block wide path here uh, and just put some oak planks in there uh, let's put the fence back up now that we know where that goes and right there so now oops i got the <laughs> should, uh, there should be some stairs there here we go uh so yeah so now this the stairs are even with this last grass uh, row here uh, and this is one block wide here and here there should be a one block of oak plank like that and we'll put our torch back down like that so that's that's how that should look and of course we need the the hatches uh along here and i think we got to put a couple over here right yep over here and that's good and oh we just need to put the fence the uh the pull back the uh the lamp post so this is a total of six high so it's one two three oh i hate putting these up three four five six and we're gonna put one in here with a piece of glowstone under it like that uh and i think if i remember correctly he's got some i think uh, he i don't know does he have torches here i don't know i can't remember he might have torches into there i don't know we'll 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 deal with that later all right, so yeah, so that's that's the newly expanded love garden. So there should be, you know, you got this one section here that's double, and then you're gonna have a single row, and then you're gonna have another double row of grass, and then you're gonna have that uh, wood, and then grass, one grass row for the where the fence goes like that. So that's that's where that should be. So that should the new uh, sidewalk is only gonna be one block wide, and uh, it's going to line right up uh, like this with, with these guys here. This should be one, two, three, four blocks here that helps at all um yeah okay all right um ernie and bert just don't get too freaked out by the by the you got all this extra room to roam around and very cool eh? all right so let's go up to the tea time okay so the piano here uh it's, yeah it's got a map on it you know the map looks pretty good uh daniel lee was actually the first person to point it out but uh joey uh was the second nine since he's not in the love garden yet and he certainly has 
been a long time viewer as, as he's mentioned so we're going to do it that way so anyway that's that's the way it should look it doesn't doesn't look a whole lot different i realize but we're going for authenticity so uh there we go and everything else in here nothing nobody else has given me any sort of changes to do in here yet uh as far as i can remember so let's go back down to the ic shop and start work on that okay so uh in here we at the end of the last video we put in uh, some shelving here and this uh oh hello luna sorry luna uh, i should say hi, say hi to everybody luna uh luna is going to be a helper for me today and uh this this whole shelving unit uh should be over one block see how there's three blocks here uh this is what uh captain kaz was talking about this this whole thing needs to you know go over one block to the left here so there should be two blocks here between the window and the glowstone and the same thing over here it should be centered uh, so we're gonna have to add a block so let's just go ahead and, and repair that it's just a simple matter of taking all this out and uh replacing this with the proper oh i need some sandstone uh with the proper elements here and put this here and put the glowstone back in put the mirror back on this side and then i have to extend this side one block and uh, that would mean taking these out putting some whoops quartz actually yeah we do need quartz here glowstone there mirror and shelving replaced on these sides there we go now that's that's how it should be properly wow that's a that would have been disastrous once we go to actually put the chests on so uh yeah i mistakenly had it centered on the room when it it should be centered in this area that is um on the outside of this uh countertop here uh and uh speaking of this area somewhere in here we don't really know where yet it is a sign that has the employee of the month which i believe was choo choo so i'm not sure what we're going to do because stampy gave him a sign and he kind of walked into the back room to finish his video and we never saw choo choo enter this room at least during the video so i have to assume it's probably out here you know probably in one of the more usual places behind the counter or something i don't know so we'll i don't know maybe we'll just put it back there and if we ever find out where it goes we'll we'll change it so luna now you have proven in the past to be able to fill up chests with the proper ingredients i gave you a list earlier how to do this so uh on the bottom here we're just going to put uh wait a second something is something is amiss here one two three four five six seven one two oh no this is right okay so there should be an empty block on each end uh, of the uh, chests and then one in the middle and uh, same on this side and luna is going to fill these up uh while we're in the other room working and um she's going to put the correct things in there and that right luna hello luna luna she get off your phone luna she sometimes she spaces out she's on her phone and stuff uh okay and the only thing left to do really in here uh is to put some torches up and this is going to go on this top wall here uh one is right above the door right against the uh, right on this black strip here and uh since we're worried about the uh the the mirror the uh, glass melting basically uh we need to put this on the fourth block in one two three oops no not there fourth block there and same on this side and it's going to be the same on the other walls <clears throat> in the other room excuse me one two three four and like i said there should be two uh down here we did that in the other video and that turned out that's correct and we've got this nice light by the glowstone and uh, then we we are good to go there's not really any other place to put a torch without risking melting everything uh oh and well might as well here we can put this door on it's just a regular oak door at this point he hasn't uh, made any kind of fanciness to it using any of the other doors uh so yeah so this is done out here luna you're going to fill those up and uh so let's get started in here um now okay so for this let's do the uh the uh the table that's over here first uh so coming from this side uh we're going to go to the fourth block here one two three four we're going to grab put some upside down uh, uh quartz stairs and we're just going to add uh two flat half slabs there and we're going to put another quart quartz uh stairs here but of course we know from doing the clock tower that you can't just put it there it's not going to 
orient itself. You have to put something behind it, and we're, we're just going to use another stair since we have it in our hand. And uh, there we go. Now we can get rid of that. Uh, now we are going to use nether rack stairs for the seats, and they kind of stagger. They're not in line with each other. So there's one here, and one right here, one block away from the wall, and we just need some armrests on there. Whoops. <laughs> and on this side no not there that side i am just terrible with the uh, signs fences too uh okay so let's see on this side we're gonna have a flower pot with a red flower in it and on this side a brewing stand uh nope don't no jars on that this is just kind of supposed to look like one of those pieces of equipment that your your doctor tells you to stick your face in and then he you know shoot you with a you know some air into your eyeball to test your glaucoma anyway uh all right so that's that uh the eyeball test now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put right here in the corner of this purple uh we're going to put this is like the eyeball chart uh that gross thing that you look at while you're waiting for the doctor uh and let's see this is not a good right place for the for the torches might as well put them in the right spot i mean exact same place as we were on the other side of the wall one two three four here uh one two three four there uh and get on this wall might as well get these right uh since we're here let's see one two three four get rid of that one and this one's in the middle which is there let's see if i can turn around and get this in the right spot right there that's good and from this wall one oops <laughs> one two three whoo i'm glad that didn't start melting that already that would have made a, a little bit of a mess all right so now we got all the torches in uh, okay, so the eyeball test goes uh, right here. Uh, this is two blocks away from the door here. It's kind of one block to the right of where the uh, torch is. Uh, we're just going to piece of white wool here with a iron fence above it to kind of act as a little holder, it looks like. Uh, and now the here comes the tricky part. Um, and I'm, I'm told that PlayStation might have some different things. I don't know if PC does or what, but um, he, the sign... Uh, changed a little bit from when he originally did it in the video and you get a good look at the finished product when he goes in and does the employee of the month game but um, he doesn't really explain that there's a difference so if you didn't notice that's that's why so here's how it's configured currently on the top row is a cap a calc a capital H just right in the middle that's it next line is a capital K this is space in between each one of these just one oops <laughs> let's back that up k space l space b space and then w no space okay and then in the next line everything's got two spaces between it uh, and that is a small case q space space t space space y space space and i Oh no, there's three spaces. Excuse me, there's three spaces between each of these. Let me just back up. Mm -hmm, three spaces. Yeah, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and good. And then finally, in below here, we've got three. This is where it kind of, I'm not sure what characters you have. I'm told that PlayStation may be a little different. You have some sort of smaller characters or something you can use. Um, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm hearing. Um, I apologize. I can't remember who told me that. All right, so we need to switch to the this case, this this uh, set of characters. Uh, we're going to choose this funny-looking sort of looking O here, and then we're going to put three spaces there: one, two, three, and then this little sort of A, one, two, three, and then this X-looking thing here. Uh, even though it doesn't quite line up, it's what he used. Uh, and then that's it, and we say OK, and there we go. That's that's how it should look all right that is looking good all right so that's that and that's this part of the room done uh hmm all right i'm gonna hold off on doing the shelves until i do this 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 beast here all right we're gonna get this we're gonna get this over with there's gonna be a teeny teeny tiny bit of redstone in this redstone alert redstone alert redstone alert all right so all right, here's the here's where we want to put this thing. We want to put this on the fifth block to the right. One, two, three, four, five. We want to go up to the ceiling, and on the second block in, we want to put an upside down piston. 
and we're going to put a piece of yellow whoop, I need why didn't I not get yellow wool yellow wool I got orange for some reason that's not it right yellow wool goes up there and then we want to do the ones on the side so we're just going to kind of temporarily uh, well, we use the orange wool to support this all right so we're going to come out to the second one here now it's going to be here um, we're going to put a, oh man, what did I, oh, no, there it is. It's like, where's my sticky piston? I right, put one here. So that's going to be also lined up with this one in this direction. It's going to be, uh, it has to be up in the air. So you just have to put something down there. Uh, so that is the third block away from the wall. Uh, I don't really need that there. And the block on attached to that one is going to be red. And then we're going to have one that's going to be in the floor, like that, and that one is going to be opposite of yellow is purple, yep. And then the opposite of red is green, so we just need, uh, let's see, we need to come out to here. Put a, let's put a piece of wool there, stick your piston on top of it, and the regular green wool there, like that. Um, I guess we can actually leave the white wool because that's yeah le leave the white wool there should be there should be white wool under there anyway so it should be uh, like that uh, so if we have a, a lever um, if we if we did it here you do it would activate it but it's not gonna the lever is not gonna be there when we're done all right so we've got this this is what we've got so far and it's one block away from the wall uh, so that's it uh, so under here we need to we need some ground first of all because this this is we need a little light too um can't see anything down here um let's see what don't i well i don't need the orange i decided that i don't i don't need orange any any way to light okay here's a little all right let's grab some let's grab some dirt and we'll put that there uh let's see where are we at here okay how deep oh, okay this is not deep this is Pretty shallow here. Um, let's see, we need this to go. I think it has to go under, under the actual. This I don't really need. All right. So, oops, I need light gray wool to replace that. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, light gray wool over here. Put that in the dirt. Okay, so we just need a blob of, a couple of blobs, actually I guess it's two blobs of redstone. I think this is right. If we put one in front of this, is this going to work? No, this is no. What did I do wrong? Oh, woe is me. I wasn't, not looking at my, oh, you know what? Hold on. I just need, um, <laughs> this is too low. I don't need that. I don't need that under there. It is just one blob. Um, I'll just use a piece of white wool. Well, there we go. Put a blob here, and a piece of white white wool in front of that, and then I should be able to activate it with this lever. There we go. Now it's working. Piece of cake. Yeah. So that's just it's very simple, uh, and that's it. That's all the actual redstone we'll be laying down in here for this. Uh, thank goodness. All right. So now we just need to fill in some of this white wool. Uh, in various spots and we're just going to do it underneath here and here uh, and then in the back we're going to put one line of it here we're going to put a piece of glowstone uh, let's see I don't need that anymore glowstone behind it wool going all the way up we want to make sure we hide hide everything all right, so now we've got a piece, you know, we've got this going all the way up the back. We've got those two under there and this one in the front. Uh, so we're going to put one, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're going to put these two on the front of here, these two on the front of that. Okay. And then we're going to put one here and one there. And we're going to stick one out here. <laughs> Same thing on this side. Just bring up here and here and put one here. Don't put one here. We're going to fix that in a minute. Uh, and then the only thing that's left is back here. Uh, just to kind of cover this up, we're going to put two pieces there. That looks just like the front, like that. Same thing on the back. 
Uh, then we just need a piece of white carpet. And that's it. Oh, no, that's it. That is snow. Uh, and then that's what he puts on top of this to kind of keep it from looking a little too bulky up here. Even <laughs> I think we're I think we're beyond that. Uh, so then we just need some levers uh, here and here and at the top. And uh, so now those those should all work. They do. Uh, test this one out. Okay, good. And we just need a glass block in the middle uh, just to kind of be like the little. I don't know, a little screen there. And there we go. That is our eyeball machine. I don't know what you want to call that thing. Uh, then we just need a chair out in front of it. Alright, so the shelving that's behind here. Oh no, the seat. The seat uh, is just the oak, and it's just going to be one block away from there, and just some signs on the side as usual. Alright, now, uh, so this shelving system here, we're going to do is take, uh, well, let's see. Uh, there's sort of an option here. He, the way he built it was to, um, one block away from this wall, he just kind of did this. Uh, one, two, yeah. Uh, five blocks long, one block away from this window. Uh, and then he put an extra one in the middle and on the sides. But you can just build it as, you know, a block. Cause that's, really all, that's really all that is. Um, that's how it's treated. Once it's uh, we put it together, it's treated as one block. Uh, and there's going to be, uh, of course, some... Uh, chest on the top and uh, it's got some ingredients here. Uh, let's see now on this one. Do I have my signs with me? Okay. Yeah, well, so on the first one We've got I see eye drops and I mm, did chairs in the way uh, So on this one we're gonna have I see eye patches and these are these are both on the second line and these are all lowercase for some reason uh, and then over here of course we have the I see test now uh, what goes in these? Okay, so in this one, there should be, the last I saw, he's got seven um, bottles of Splash Night, Night Vision Potion in that one. And in this one, he's just got, he's got three um, pieces of black wool and there's supposed to be like eye patches in there. Uh, and then finally, this is the, the only one where you have to do really a lot of work. And since this is a little different, uh, if you're not familiar with this process, this is just a, um, this is just a, oh, I gotta use this here. I've got a, this book and quill that's in my inventory, and, uh, this has to be written on, so I'm just gonna left trigger on that, and then we just have to write, so when you type it all in, it's gonna be, you're gonna just type, type, type straight, it's not like uh, when you do signs, you have to go to each line, you just type, 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 as you go, uh, so it obviously says, I can see, I can see the, wait, I can see this so I can read this. You can tell that I can read this because you can hear me reading this. If I could not see okay, you would not hear me reading this. I hope you can hear okay, <laughs> which is funny. Uh, so that's what you wanted to say in there. Uh, and then we just go down to, we have to sign it. And uh, the title of it is gonna be the IC Sight Test. And of course he would have, you know, it would say by Stampy Longnose. Uh, set of Darwin 68, but um, you can't really control that, so it's going to have your gamer tag on there. There's no way around that. So we're just going to go to sign and close, and then I'm just going to put it right in there like that. And there we go, those three chests. Now, hopefully, uh, Luna has uh, actually gone and filled all these chests out there as you were supposed to. So let's see what she's been doing out here. Luna, have you been? Have you been? Been you know doing your work? What are you hiding? <laughs> You're hiding. She seems ashamed. Luna, did you do your work? You did. Okay, you were just playing around with me. Okay, so uh, so when you come in the front door, which by the way, still needs a door. I think we should, I think we can put a door in here safely. It's it's no problem there. All right, so when you come in the front door, the top left, uh, these are potatoes, these are apples, and this is a magenta dye uh, going across the top there. Uh, down here, we've got cookies and pink dye, right? Pink, I think. Yeah, pink. Uh, and this one is uh, has pumpkin pies, although when I was actually in his world, this chest was empty. And I think it's because he went and I think he got something to eat while he was building something else. But that that originally did have pumpkin pie, so I'm, I'm leaving it as such. Uh, the top, on the other side, we've got snowballs, uh, magma cream, and yeah, slime balls. And then we've got 
nothing. Luna, you failed on that one. Uh, Ender Pearls, and this is Eye of Ender. This one is supposed to be uh, Gray Die. I'm not sure how. You did pretty good, Luna. You did pretty good, Luna. Let me let me just finish off your your work here. Where's the die? Here we go. Let's put uh, two of them in there, and we're just gonna put them right. Uh, kind of as close to the middle as you can there. Okay, and uh, that's it there. So what else do we have to do? Anything else in here? I think we're, I think we're done. We've got the torches. This my ginormous machine. Uh, oh, hold on a second. The chair is not in front of the machine. Let's fix that, shall we? Uh, let's grab some uh, chair here and uh, signs. And uh, well, I'm glad we caught that in time. Mm -hmm, that goes there. Okay, so this is good. I think we are done. Yeah, it's officially there you go. Now you can totally see into there and, and you can test your different colors, knowledge. And uh, good, 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 good. Alright, so I think if there's anything left, somebody will surely let me know. Uh, but I think we've pretty much covered everything. Oh, the sign. We wanted to do the employee of the sign. There's a, you know, like I said, we have no idea where this thing goes. Uh, traditionally, it goes kind of back behind the counter. So I think, uh, how about we, and sort of in display, so how about we put it like here? So if an employee were to be coming back here, they would see the employee of the month sign. Let's just put it, uh, we'll just put it right here. There, I just did it kind of like in the style that he normally, that Stampy normally does. I have no idea what it looks like. So we're just going to go with that for now. It's employee of the month. Choo choo. So, um, all right, that's it. That is the IC shop. Now here comes the next big decision. Okay. Now we're going to have a little vote like we did last time. That worked pretty good. And, uh, oh, by the way, the sweetie pie, which is going to be the sweetie pie is going to be, uh, one of the choices to vote for, uh, look for just look for a link. Uh, no, no, look for a, um, what do you call it? Like we did last time, a, a comment that has, you know, for voting for this building the sweetie pie next. Um, but, uh, I noticed that while they, he was building that, that something went horribly wrong here and something exploded and he had to replace it with some glass. And it did reveal that this under here originally was white wall. So I feel vindicated that that was the case. And of course, it does not anymore seem to be the case. So you are going to vote either for the Sweetie Pie shop or again for the furniture shop or the, the laundry shop, which uh, granted... I have a pretty good idea where you're going to vote, but you just never know. Um, so make that decision for yourself and vote in the comment section below. Uh, if for some reason you can't comment um, or hit the like button, hit the like button on the comment. If you can't find the like button or whatever your software doesn't allow, just put a, you know, a com you know, a reply to that comment saying that you're going to uh, vote for that one. And speaking of comments really quickly, Joey G, uh, I can't reply to your comments ever. Some people I can, some people I cannot. There's no reply thing for me, so I apologize if it seems like I'm, uh, I don't reply to you, but I, ca I cannot. I have no way to do that. So anyway, just wanted to put that in there since that was uh, the case. So, uh, well, you know, I did the last one from down a little bit farther. I'm going to do it from up here. Say my goodbye here. I'm Darman68. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.